This is our master suite. Again, you can see uh, items that uh, you would consider in a mountain resort. When you say fifteen thousand um, know, dollars, that's what that some people might pay for their last car, and that's fifteen thousand dollars per evening, per day to stay in this room. However, because there's six bedrooms, and oftentimes there might be fourteen uh, members of an extended family here, our average rates uh, during season are over a thousand dollars per room. Uh, so it all of a sudden starts to make sense when you have six bedrooms and you can fit everybody into one residence, that this actually does become a value. Referring back to the chandelier, everything was a, was a deer horn or an elk horn wood uh, that came out of one of the local forest, and it's now a coffee table. It's different today. The, the, uh, the station wagon is now a private jet. Uh, but these are still families. These are extended families. This is mom, dad, children, grandma, grandpa. Uh, sometimes extended families from different marriages uh, might come. So you might, ha you might have a, the new wife and, and the ex-wife actually all here at the same time staying in the same room. Peter, here's, here's one of the separate wings of the six bedroom unit. In this case, this is the children's wing and you can, you can even tell by the decoration at the end of the hallway here, um, which is a, uh, a very, very fun ski lift. Um, this particular room is for younger kids. One of the changes in demand has been a greater interest in suites, whether those are very elaborate presidential suites with swimming pools and sunken television sets that rise to be watched and those kinds of things, um, or just space where there's a bedroom or two bedrooms and a living room that allows when someone's working and another uh, member of the travel party is not working, someone can be sleeping and out of the way. Their home is stunning. Their home is beautiful. They have, you know, beautiful TVs in their bathrooms. They have, um, you know, private st staff at their own residence. And when they travel, they wish to have uh, the same services and creature comforts than they do at home. That's very important to clients, to guests in suites like this, that they have one point person to speak to that can sort of coordinate their life for them here when they're in London. And typically we find, you know, guests wondering what they'll do without Jose or without uh, Beatrice or, or without one of the butlers when they check out.
So in the past, people thought of luxury as being formality, protocol, something that's prescribed. Now increasingly people are saying, look, I have means, I've traveled a lot, I know what I want to do. I like to have my butler unpack my bag, I want to have someone tend to me, or you know what, I'm perfectly happy using my iPhone as a room key and I'll let you know when I want something, but otherwise for me luxury is being left alone.